What's going on my little piglet? It's your BFF Porch up here and I'm coming at you with another video. Not about the Dallas Cowboys. This is a video, it's kind of like a life slash work update. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's been a while since I've shared anything that I've done work related. And in all honesty, I like the direction that my life as well as my work is going yes it's stressful sometimes especially now that we have not one but two car payments we got the mortgage we got you know everything under the Tuscan Sun it seems like um, we have to pay for and we have to uh, you know start making payments on and everything but life is good these are good problems to have this shows that you're actually doing something <laughs> with your life um, but for work specifically, I was given the task because when I first started the interview process, she flat out told me, Melinda, my boss, who is an incredible, incredible woman to work for and an incredible woman that I would go to war for in just my short tenure, but she gave me the task to do these uh, do this drive-through experiment you know act like I was a customer just go up there and just see how they reacted see what they said see you know what they need to improve on what they did great on everything like that and so she gave me a task last week I think it was last Tuesday or yeah I think it was last Tuesday she said uh, okay so I need you to uh, go out and do another drive-through run and uh, here's some money uh, I guess they do uh, like petty cash or whatever and uh, here's some money and just go do it just go film go do what you gotta do so what I did was is one night for dinner my wife made dinner and she uh, for uh, Dylan Casey and I she made dinner and she said, okay, how about you go get drinks? And I said, you know what? This will be a perfect opportunity for me to go and film a drive through video. And she, she agreed. She's like, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. You got two birds with one stone. I said, yeah, absolutely. So I went and filmed the, the drive through and uh, inserted my personality and my comments and my knowledge that I have of customer service and everything like that because I've been uh, in the food industry. My dad was a, an old... Uh, general manager for a uh, local barbecue joint that unfortunately went under in 2009 but pretty much from 1992 which was birth to 2009 I had known what it's like to be in the food industry and uh, that was actually my first job as a busser and a caterer for the restaurant and uh, so my dad kind of taught me you know this is how you treat people this is how people treat us and you're gonna have to get used to meeting a lot of crappy people but you're gonna meet a lot of good people but so I was giving my input about my personal life and stuff like that and she said oh my gosh I love this I was like oh I'm glad I'm glad you love it I'm glad you enjoy it and she said now go do it to all the other stores in town and uh, I calculated I was like all the other stores she said, yeah and uh, I want them done by Friday <laughs> so Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I kind of divided and conquered, uh, took over uh, the east side of Amarillo, and then I kind of conquered the central side of Amarillo, and then I conquered uh, the west side of Amarillo. And so f just straight up, I believe that there were 15 drive-ups in Amarillo. So I pretty much would try to do five a day and uh, go from there. One of them I had to redo because uh, my phone was overheating. It was like 104 degrees that day. So my phone was, it's mounted up here. That's another reason why I changed the camera angle from the middle to right here is because it's kind of a little more inconspicuous right here in this corner when uh, they can just look over and just see a phone right there. And they're like, oh, this guy's recording or something. What's going on? So right here, it's kind of more inconspicuous. But, so I went out and uh, did one and it was 104 degrees and my phone overheated. <laughs> so it only caught like uh, two thirds of the video. So uh, I could 
uh, I couldn't use it. it. It got me pretty much driving up and saying I'm at store, yep, blah, 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 and I'm gonna order this. And I got to the speaker and uh, the guy gave his little speech. He didn't do a very good job, but, um, and then my phone kind of shut off and it didn't come back on until after I got the product. So I didn't really disclose you know how it went per se so I was like mm, I'm just gonna go ahead and redo this one tomorrow it's a little out of the ways but you know what I'm gonna redo it it needs to be redone and so I did all the videos I did all 15 of them and she sent them to all the district managers as well as the vice president of the company and I haven't heard from the president of the company but the vice president said dude I love your personality I love your insights I love just I love these videos in general overall I just enjoy these videos and I said thank you very much it means a lot especially coming from the vice president of the company and he said now how are we gonna do like an inside like experience and I'm like like an inside experience he's like yeah like I want you to go inside the building and I kind of want you to like look around see if there's like a mess on the floor see if there's you know out of stock items stuff like that and he's like I think that could be really interesting and he said and do what you do use your personality just do what you do except just go in and kind of look around and see what's going on I said okay that would be kind of cool and uh, so we're trying hopefully by the end of the week hopefully we'll find a solution to where I can do that and also Melinda told me she said just let me know when you're ready and you can go do the stores out of town. And I was like, oh, dang, the stores out of town. Like, I kind of, in passing, made a joke about doing out of town stores. But man, I'd love to go to the out of town stores. And she's like, well, you can. I'm like, I can? She's like, yeah, just tell me when and we'll go out and, and uh, we'll do the stores. I was like, okay. So what that means is I get to go to I get to go out of state uh, I get to go out of town um, because it's only in Canyon there's only one store in Canyon right now and that's the I think the Amarillo and Canyon are the only two that they have in Am in uh, Texas so I, I get to go to Oklahoma and I get to go to Kansas to look at these uh, to do these uh, reviews um, I'm very interested I'm very excited because you know going out of town to do this and getting paid to do this and I get to actually keep the product as long as I have the receipt I get to keep the product and enjoy it so if I want to get a hot dog after I want to get you know a, a drink or something I can and it's totally just it's compensated so I got really excited about that and then also yesterday as I was leaving I get an email from Melinda and she said hey I want you to think about going to this I think it could be a good thing for you and it's a seminar in Lubbock. And the seminar is pretty much like, um, it's kind of like a, a communications slash graphic design type of seminar where it's like, you know, I guess proper etiquette and, and, and how to use the designs and how to utilize them and, and to the best of your ability and how to uh, benefit from using your designs. So I said, I'll think about it. And then I went and told my wife, yesterday she's like yeah you're going I said okay so I get to go to Lubbock uh, not next Friday but I think the following Friday um, and I'm excited about that so I get to uh, on a Friday just shoot out there uh, Friday morning and pretty much stay there all day I think it goes until like 630 so I'm getting paid to go to Lubbock and go to the seminar and uh, I know that I have a few subscribers in, in Lubbock if you uh if you guys want to meet up, I don't know if I get like journey for lunch or something like that, or if I can like you know stay late for like a dinner or something. You guys let me know and uh, hit me up and uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, do something. So as you can tell, there's a lot going on at work. There's a uh, an abundance of things for me to do. Last week there wasn't really much for me to do, so I pretty much just sat around and just goofed around and made ads which uh, I realized I didn't like any of them <laughs> so it comes with the territory for every like two or three I make I only like one or two and for every five or six I make Melinda likes one or two <laughs> so <laughs> she's a harsher critic than I am to myself um, but 
uh, I just wanted to give y'all an update. Things are going great at work, and um, I um, am enjoying what I'm doing. Tomorrow, my task is I have been put in charge to create an invitation for a, uh, a team member that's actually retiring. He's been there since, like, the early 90s, so he's been there for... God, it makes me feel so old because I was born in the early 90s and people were saying it like it was like ancient history. So um, I get to make a retirement uh, invitation for him and inviting all the team members to his retirement part party at a local barbecue joint for lunch uh, next Friday and, or next Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. And I just... <laughs> Um, I, I, I've been, that's my task is to make the invitation as well as make a giant foam board of a picture with him in the center and we all have to sign it, you know, saying, you know, best of luck, good luck, you know, have a, have a happy retirement, stuff like that. It's exactly what we did for a, uh, um, another employee a couple weeks ago that retired. She's actually, uh, moving to Missouri to be with her, uh, granddaughter and her daughter and, um, I didn't get to make it, but like it's pretty much like Melinda's like, okay, lather, rinse, repeat. I want you to do exactly what this invitation was. I want you to do exactly what this foam board was. And uh, it's your first big project other than a video. So, whack away. So, so, all right, cool. So, guys, that's it. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them as fast as I can and uh, also respond to them as efficiently as I can. You guys can please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a piglet to get more of these updates. I hope to give y'all more updates and not just sporadically whenever I feel like it. Maybe like once a week I give y'all an update. What do y'all think? And um, just thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little piglets. Colin Porkchop loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.